Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to this beautiful isometric design tutorial and you can see on our screen right now that we have created this beautiful donut chart which is quite 3D and you can create such charts for any report. So let's start. So the very first basic step is as usual we have to create a gradient background and I have chosen this time blue color for the gradient. I just love blue color. So that's why I've selected it. And you can try even purple, yellowish, orange, or you can try dark color as well. Uh, I mean a combination of black and dark blue that will also look very good. Now let's insert a circle. And remove its color and we will only keep its border color that is called line in powerpoint so we applied this bright blue color gradient uh, on the circle line and we have changed its angle using 3d rotation option and you can see now it's looking like a flat circle so we have just duplicated it and we will create five to six copies of it so we just keep on duplicating it and aligning it so make sure these are well aligned now we have these five copies of circle and we will create one more and place it on the top like this and then we will apply a gradient blue color the same color that we applied in the border of this of these circles now this is our placeholder or you can say ground or base and again duplicate one more and bring to front now what we will do is we will fill a white color into it uh, any light color will look good here you can also try gray very light blue make sure it's light now increase its depth which is a very important step to give it a 3d look and place it like this you can also adjust the material and lighting of it so i've changed the angle of the lighting as per your requirement as long as it is lo looking realistic you can do that now so you can see our isometric design is almost ready and what we have to do it we have to increase the transparency of these circles and for that we have to select the gradient stops of each circle and increase the transparency so the more the bottom circle the last circle has the highest transparency then the next we have kept it around like 45 or 50 then on the third you can keep it like 35 to 40 and keep on doing that till all the circles have some transparency effect the idea here is uh, to create a transparency effect from bottom to top it's like revealing these circles so Now the next step is insert uh, this shape, the circular shape and reduce its width, remove outline, apply gradient color and we will apply the same gradient color that we applied on the circles. And the next step is before changing its angle let's, increase, uh, let's create another circle inside it. Make sure it's well aligned, apply gradient color, remove its outline and here you can experiment with the color and try something purple, uh, any color which can complement all these blues. So this purple color, a light purple color will look good here. Now again I have duplicated this circle and we will create a reflection effect. So insert a rectangle shape and we will subtract it from the circle and but we will get this semicircle kind of shape 
apply white color increase transparency so here you can see uh, a kind of reflection here and reflections look good and this also uh, create a nice realistic kind of effect so now we will remove the 40% portion of the outer circle for that we have insert inserted the shape and let's change its size so that we can remove this portion subtract and here you can see our uh, donut chart is almost ready now it's the time to change its angle and here you go for the outer circle what we will do is to make it more 3d looking we will increase its depth so keep on increasing its depth and you can try and test different things here you can also increase the depth to a larger number as well so i've kept it minimal now what we will do is we will place the design on the top of this base select all make sure you have selected all these pieces and before that i have to make it small and my mouse is behaving a bit strange here it's not able to select anything so you can place it here and it reduce its size so it's a kind of easy job here you can place it i know that so ungroup make sure all everything is ungrouped place it here we have to reduce its size as well so i have grouped it reduce the size and place it here like this and look at this beautiful design it's taking its shape for the inner circle slightly increase the transparency of the gradient stops and it will make it look more beautiful uh, i've also tried to increase the transparency of this outer circle as well but it didn't work so you can adjust the lighting and material as well so i'm just playing around with some options here like transparency and all i know you can do it and apply the reflection effect increase the blurness and choose the transparency the problem is this reflection is touching the circle so we have to select this third option I mean the first option from the third row increase the distance now it's looking perfect <clears throat> the reflection is falling on the base very perfectly and I think it is very close to what I want so this shape is ready now the next step is do something very creative and that is as usual add some text so write the percentage here I think it would be around 60% you can also write 65 and change the font to Oswald nowadays I am using Oswald font I really like this font I kept it bold now change its angle like this and place it here 60% it looks like a trophy that I have won increase the blurness and apply the shadow effect now what we can do is we can slightly change the blue color here of the circle Increase the transparency a bit and we can see through it this inner circle looks good now now we have to write the title of this design and that is sales you can write to your revenue or traffic or any thing as per a requirement I have written sales in the Oswald font uppercase increase spacing 
increase the size make sure center aligned white color and the next step would be to change this angle first duplicate it and write create a venus i'm just doing some branding here it's totally up to you and make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like this video you can also share your thoughts in the comment section below now go to the effects option and apply this third option I place it here now we will test few colors here let's see what looks good here uh, the dark colors look good here like this dark blue as well also looks nice I think we should keep it and let's align these alignment is the most important factor in PowerPoint alignment I think is the most important pillar that makes a PowerPoint look very good so make sure you have every alignment in place for all the items now insert another circle we will create this very bright reflection kind of effect set it to back apply this gradient uh, make sure it is radial and you can see it is looking very beautiful so now insert rounded rectangle and remove its outline and apply white color and increase the transparency to around 70 or 80 percent and change its angle like this so we are creating this 3d space where our isometric design is placed make sure it is covering the maximum portion of the slide now it looks good now insert some text here now we have inserted some text here i have skipped this part you can see we have placed the heading subheading some dummy text here talking about the slide and a call to action which can be linked to any further slide or website now change their angle and you can see the magic here now we have to align these things and you just have to drag and drop these items not drop you just have to drag these items and you can see here now it is looking really nice we have to just duplicate this call to action button so that we can create a shadow effect apply white color and increase transparency and send it to back and your design is complete now we will animate all these items for that there is a great trick you do not need to be a great animator or expert for that you have to select all the items like fly in animation and in the animation pane you can select all the items start with previous change the duration to 1.25 and increase the delay by 0.25 now you have to select all and deselect first two items increase the delay again deselect two items increase the delay and keep on deselecting two to three items now and keep on increasing the delay and you have to do it randomly like two sometimes three and even sometimes four as well or you can select one as well uh, deselect one as well so keep on deselecting the items and increase the delay and in the end what you will get this a very beautiful animation so I hope you like the design of this slide and I've created one more variation where instead of circle I've used these rounded rectangles. So if you like the design and this video please hit the like button, please subscribe to our channel and you can join the membership as well by hitting the join button. So thanks for watching, bye bye.